Good morning from Madeira. We're just gonna go get breakfast and then we're gonna go on our port excursions. Let's go. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Fernando and I'm a Portuguese translator for the Italian, French and English languages. I'm Portuguese. Our coach driver is Ishidio. Ishidio. So and I'm Fernando and we are coach number six. There's a sign in front of the coach. Coach number six, Fernando. So for this tour this morning, I hope that you are having a great cruise. I'm sure you are having it. And I'm sure you will enjoy this morning here in this beautiful island. So today you will not know Madeira. You will just know a little bit of the capital, the outskirts of the capital of Madeira. There's a lot of things to see and then I will tell you during your tour what you're going to do. So we're going to leave the harbour now and uh, just behind the cruise ship here you have this huge mountain, this huge amphitheatre which is the south coastline of Madeira and um, where we have the capital here. And we're going to pass through the seafront avenue and we will go up, 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 up to a local parish at 550 meters above sea level, which is roughly 1,800 feet. And arriving there, we're going to stop the parish of Our Lady of Monta. And we will go straight for the toboggan ride, which I'm sure it will be a different experience in your lives. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I will explain it just before arriving there, but uh, they, are, they are quite nice to do it. It's, it was a, a very important meaning of transport for us on the 19th century. Obviously that now we have cars, so, but still some of our guests are going to do it. So once we arrive there, you will be queuing for the toboggan ride and they are wicker work baskets with two wooden parallel bins and then you have two men that they want to push you down with the help of two ropes for five minutes, more than that. But I will explain everything just before arriving there. Then once you go, you, you go down on the toboggan ride. We have toboggans for two and for three, but most will be for two persons. So you will go down on the toboggan ride. For five minutes, we, you arrive down and you wait for me there. Because I'm not going with you. There's no risks in my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> it is completely safe, honestly. <laughs> but you need to go there because the coach can, cannot go through the same way you go. So I need to pick up the coach again to pick you up afterwards down when you arrive. There's a small souvenir shop there and a small cafe. Meanwhile, you can be there and then um, I will pick you up there. Then we will ret return up to the parish again. Normally, we don't pass there twice, but today we have three cruise ships here on the harbor. So it will be too crowded to go down. And I don't want you to be for two hours waiting at you. That's why I decided to do this now with my colleagues. We said which is best for you. Three coaches will go first up, three coaches will go first down. Not to be there, because we have all the other cruise ships there. You know, we don't know how it will be. So we will pass there again. So we will pass a second time for the toboggan right entrance. We will walk through the gardens and we will take the cable car to go down to Funchal. So we will return to Funchal not by car, but by cable car. We will pick up the coach again. We, the driver is going to drive us to the Madeira Wine Company, which is the Blandis Wine Lodges. And there we are going to stop and we will be very pleased to offer you a sample of Madeira Wine. So you'll have a glass of Madeira Wine at the Madeira Wine, Blandis Wine Lodges. After that, we will return back to the coach and we will take the coach up, up to another viewpoint from the west side of Funchal, where we have the touristic park, the hotels on the top. And that viewpoint, you will have a nice view from the harbour and all the cruise ships down here. That's the uh, uh, third stop. Well, fourth stop, if you can see it like that. And finally, we will return down to Funchal. We shall be back around one. We shall be back here on the harbour. So, I repeat, first stop, toboggan ride. 
second stop, Cato Car, <laughs> third stop, Madeira Wine, and fourth stop, Viewpoint, west side of Funchal, and then returning back to the transship. This is like a cooperative, as well as like the land and taxes, um, it will pass from one generation to the other one. For instance,
cable car we head to the winery. We were dropped off near the public gardens which are beautiful and I would recommend having a walk around them if you have the time. We saw the most beautiful cheese plants and birds of paradise. I'm slightly obsessed with cheese plants at the moment. We then headed into the winery and were each given two types of wine to try and we had some free time to have a little look around. Um, after the winery we headed back to the coach and headed for our last stop at the viewpoint overlooking Fungel before heading back to the fort. Once back on board, we headed to the buffet for lunch before spending a relaxing afternoon at the pool. Okay, let's find out who is the winner of today's new... Good evening, everybody. What a fantastic day in Madeira. It's been beautiful, we've had so much fun and just relaxing. It's been really good. So you will have seen we did the toboggan with the wicker baskets, which was just so much fun, so much fun. Um, if I ever come back to Madeira, I will be doing it again because it really was good fun. Um, so we started with going up and doing the toboggan first. Um, we were queuing for about two hours-ish, um, I'd say. Um, there was an accident on the road that takes the wicker baskets back up from where they stop to back up to where you start and go down. So there was an accident there, so it meant they couldn't go. So we did have a queue of about two hours long um but it was it was worth it it was really good fun um the guide fernando was brilliant such a great great guide um so if you get from fernando you're in for a treat if you're doing a piano excursion we then headed back up to do the cable car and we did the cable car coming down tip the queue for the cable car coming down is so much shorter than the queue to go up. We came, When we got down, we saw the queue for people who wanted to go up and the queue was so long. So definitely a little tip there, use the cable car and go down if you want to save a bit of time. Um, we then went to a winery and tried some Madeira wine or Madeiran wine. I'm not a great wine drinker, so it wasn't for me, but I tried it, so that's the main thing. And then we went to a lookout point before getting back to the ship. We're about an hour late, I think, getting back to the ship, but just a really good day. Um, and then we have been, what did we do? We went for lunch in the buffet, which you will see. Um, really good food actually in the buffet. I was really pleasantly surprised. I'm not the greatest buffet fan, but we arrived back too late to go to the main dining room. And we had a burger yesterday, so I thought, let's do something else. So I had some really nice, really nice potato salad and a really nice sort of fish cake style but it was rice and mushrooms so yeah really nice so we had that and then we went up and did the music quiz at the coral pool 
if it was yesterday's quiz I would have won hands down. Yesterday's quiz was so good and the entertainer was great fun. I'll have to find out his name because he is really good um, and really entertaining. But yes, yeah, yesterday's songs, all the 90s and noughties hits, like I'm pretty sure I got about 38 or 40. All of them, they were just, I was singing them, like I just, I knew them. Um, but today, no, 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 no. The only one I think I knew the song and the artist was the number 20, which is the last one, because it's out of 20. And it was The Calling, Wherever You Go. And I just love that song. Um, so yes, we did that, and then we've just sat by the pool listening to music. Um, it is a bit chilly, it's quite overcast today. So, not really pool weather, but it worked quite well. And yeah, we've just been enjoying it. So we've just gone for a hot chocolate, because I said it is getting a bit chilly. So we've had a hot chocolate and some cake um, down at the sort of Java, I think it's called, the Costa Coffee Bar on deck five. So we've done that. And now I'm just sort of sat, um, about to get ready for the night, I think. They've, we've got, what have we got on tonight? So it's just casual, like, smart casual wear tonight. So I'm just going to stick on something. And then we'll go to dinner probably about seven. And then, oh, it's the silent disco tonight. So tonight's sail away is a silent disco. It's 9.30, so we're sailing late tonight, which is really nice. So yeah, about 9.30, so we're going to go to the silent disco and hopefully all the cheesy tunes are on there because I love a cheesy tune. Um, so yes, that's what we've done today. It's been been a good day. So it's six o'clock, so we'll probably get ready in about an hour, go for dinner. Um, and then we're gonna go to the main, we're doing the main dining room tonight, so we'll do that. And then, yeah, maybe go for a drink. And then, what am I doing? What are we gonna do? Yeah, dinner, drinks, and then the silent disco oh my god my mind is crazy yeah dinner drink silent disco that's the plan for tonight so i will take you along so before i carry on this is our view loving loving this picture window it's fantastic so but i really like how they've got the different names of ships and um, so they've got what can we see there? Moana, fantastic. Watched that yesterday. MSC, um, Pulmanto, uh, Navigator of the Seas, so that's Royal Caribbean. And then we have got Pete Azura. So that's lovely. Um, so, so this is the sea, and as you can see, it's really not like there's no white caps, it's just moving. But it did not treat us well yesterday, I'm telling you. So, there we go. Gosh, guys, I am showing you everything today. I'm on a roll. Um, but we've just had the horizon for tomorrow come in. And I thought I'd sort of show you it. I know lots of people do, and I find it really useful um, when I'm sort of planning trips. So, I've got my highlighter. Because bring a highlighter, bring a pen. That's always a good thing, so... Let's have a look at what they've got on tomorrow. So we've got black tie tomorrow. Oh, Banksy, hometown. Oh, artwork, we're not really into artwork. Jackpot bingo, we're not really into bingo either. So probably going to give that a miss. Oh, spa. Indulge. Mind, body and soul for 75 glorious minutes with all these treatments for only £99. Oh, that's quite good actually. We have got um, given vouchers for £30 off spa treatments on a sea day. So I think, not on a sea day, on a port day. So I think we'll actually do that instead. Um, because I need to decide between a deep tissue and uh, aroma therapy hot stone so haven't decided yet um track the deck for cancer research is on tomorrow or cancer trust is tomorrow uh, we've got comedian and then a song singer um 
so yeah, so it's not charged for sunrise. So I'm really happy. It's like 12 hours of daylight, which is always nice. Um, let's have a look what else have we got tomorrow. So we've got stretch and really no. They've got quite a bit on. They've also got quite a lot of solo travellers get togethers on at the moment. Which is always good if you're into if you're solo. Um we haven't done quizzes before, but actually they've been quite fun. Which is like restaurant times. So tomorrow oh there's afternoon tea guys afternoon tea in the main dining room tomorrow oh, that's just where's my highlighter yes Ugh. i was really hoping to see afternoon tea so we're going to do afternoon tea tomorrow that's a must um, so yeah i think tomorrow we might do the quiz if we're up and feeling okay but definitely afternoon tea in the peninsula dining room oh my god i'm so excited that afternoon tea is back i know it is available in the epicurean on sea days um but i just i had such a lovely afternoon tea last year on azura back in the caribbean and i just thought i just want to do it again so fingers crossed I don't care, I'm going <laughs> afternoon tea it is then. So probably a chilled day tomorrow. Um maybe just get a sand lounger if we can. And maybe do some promenading because I love a promenade. Um but yeah, so stay tuned. Still lots and lots to come. We've got Grand Canaria, we've got Lanzarote, and then we've got Tenerife for the rest of the week. So looking forward to it but yeah let's go and see what the rest of this week has in store um so i'll catch you all up later when we head to dinner i just thought i would show you what we picked up in madeira so we got this little magnet which has a little bow to hat which i thought was really sweet and then this is a christmas decoration so i love a christmas decoration and i pick one up whenever we have been somewhere and I thought, seeing as we did the little wicker basket, this would be super cute. So, yeah. Nice little mementos. So I always pick up a decoration and always a magnet, which I think is super cute. Right then, that is day three. <laughs> Damn, I forgot what it is. So yeah, so all done. Um, lovely meal. Again, we shared a table, so I didn't take any photos or anything, but I will include the menu and then I'll let you know what I had. Um, but yeah, really good. Um, silent disco was really fun. Had a margarita. It's time for bed. So I will see you all for C-Day number two tomorrow. Good night.